what does the Bible say about diamond hands? Have you ever thought about that? All right, you might have seen the memes about diamond hands, and in this video, I'm gonna do the cheesy youth, youth pastor thing and show you what I think the Bible says about that. Are you ready? So first, you might have seen a variation of, of this tweet um, after the Wall Street bets crashed Wall Street uh, a few months ago. Um, youth pastor sitting on a chair backwards. You guys, you know who else crashed the market? So anyways, here I'm gonna give you my version of this. So. Um, you might have seen Wall Street Bets is a subreddit, a community on the internet um, that kind of basically they kind of talk about different stock picks of, for investing, and um, you know they've developed their own cult, subculture with their own memes, their own slang and jargon, and one of them is Diamond Hands, and the idea behind it, uh, you know, and it kind of this is one of the guys, Roaring Kitty, uh, who. Um, for him, the stock that he wanted to hold with Diamond Hands was GameStop. So as he was analyzing the numbers, he realized too many people were shorting it and he thought that the value was already too low. And so his idea was if a bunch of people start buying it and raise the price, then what's going to happen is all these hedge funds that are shorting it are going to have to buy it back at a higher price to cover their shorts as, a, as the price goes up, which will make it go up even more. So that's called a squeeze. And he was right. So he, he's a super fun guy. I, I really grew to like him as I read about it and, and watched some of the videos he had made. Um, but, you know, like, he would do his due diligence, research about the stock, and then his analysis was, I like the stock, and he's holding it with diamond hands. And so, I mean, he made a ton of money, and every day he would, he would post his holdings, and he still hadn't sold, because he, he liked the stock so much he was holding it with diamond hands. He wasn't going to let it go. The opposite of that is paper hands. So like you buy, you buy, like the idea is you buy a stock, you see it go down a little bit and you sell it because you, you have paper hands. So that's the opposite. So anyways, so you know, thinking about, I love this meme of diamond hands because the idea behind it is when you see something of real value, you're not gonna let it go, right? So the Bible actually has some interesting um, insight about this. So one cool verse is this verse in Matthew where Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. So in this, we see he sees a special treasure. He, he buys the field and, and Jesus says that the kingdom of heaven is like that. So I won't go into a lot of them, but Jesus actually tells a lot of parables that are similar to this, including like um, a merchant and a pearl, and um, or a, a woman who searches all over her house for a lost coin, and then she celebrates with everyone uh, when she finds it. So there's there's this interesting idea of like when we see something of real value, we're going to buy it, obtain it, whatever, and we're going to hold it. Um, you know, and then Jesus also reminds us, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Um, so another cool one is uh, in Revelation, Jesus says to hold fast to what we have, our faith in him, so that no one may seize your crown, which is one of the things he's promising us, the crown of life. And he says, I am coming soon. So the reason we hold it is because we're trusting in his promises for us. Um, Another cool one is in Hebrew, it says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. So in this one, we hold fast to our faith. Um, why? Because he is faithful. He's, he's worthy of, of that faith. He's, you know, we've done our due diligence, uh, and we like, the, we like it. You know, we're, we're holding it with diamond hands. Um, we're holding our faith with diamond hands. Why? Because he is worth it. There's nothing more worthy of us seeking after. Um, so then this also brings up another interesting one, it, that he is faithful. And so there's another, there's a second theme of this, which is the way God holds us. So this is a theme throughout scripture. So this one's, a, this is one that's in Deuteronomy, one of the early books of the Bible. Uh, God promises to his people that, you know, that the Lord will not leave you or forsake you. He goes with you. Um, 
So this is a theme, you know, even in Joshua, I will be with you, I will not leave you or forsake you. Even in the New Testament we see this, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So, um, you know, I really like this one. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will hold you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. If God's promising to hold us, you can bet his hands are made out of pure diamonds. <laughs> He's not letting us go. In fact, um, in, in Isaiah it also says, There is no one who can deliver from my hand. I work, and who can turn it back? Uh, in John, there's a, a neat promise where Jesus says, I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. So when God's holding us, He's holding us with diamond hands, He's faithful, He's trustworthy, He's true, and we can rely on Him. So we want to we want to hold him, our faith in Him with, with diamond hands too. So this last one, is a neat one of Romans 8. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? You know, shall any tribulation? It goes through this list and he says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, Hold him with diamond hands because we can trust that he is faithful and true to hold us with his diamond hands. Got it?